I love best about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris can't be bought and she can't be bossed around. Now, I first met Kamala in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crash. I was setting up the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and Donald was scamming students at Trump University and trying to make money off people losing their homes. Kamala Harris stepped up. She enforced the law, she fought the giant banks, and she delivered billions of dollars of help for families. And that is the difference between a criminal and a prosecutor. <laughs> Donald Trump, the felon, has no plans to lower costs for families. He doesn't know how, and basically, he doesn't really care. When did he ever fill up a gas tank or worry about a grocery bill? The only bills he worries about are from his criminal defense lawyers. But Kamala, she cares deep down. During the California wildfires, she went after the price gougers. During the pandemic, we worked together in the Senate to stop price gouging. And as president, she will lower costs for your family. And there it is. Groceries, gas, housing, health care, taxes, abortion. Trust Donald Trump and J.D. Fans to look out for your family. Shoot, I wouldn't let those guys, I wouldn't trust them to move my couch. We need Kamala Harris. This election is about your family and your future. I've seen Kamala Harris fight. I've seen her win. And when it comes to our families and our futures, Kamala Harris is someone we can trust. Kamala Harris fights for all Americans. She stays on offense and she wins. And I know that she'll fight with the same passion, the same determination as President of the United States. I can't wait to see her prosecute the case against Donald Trump on the debate stage in September. We face a stark choice in this election, a felon and con man or a dedicated prosecutor. The contrast between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris is clear. He obstructs justice. She upholds it. He swindles people. She serves them. He thinks he's above the law. She actually understands the law. That's what this election comes down to. One candidate who's out for himself or Kamala Harris for the people. It's a battle for the future of our nation. And tonight, we will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Kamala Harris should be, she must be, the next President of the United States. Child care makes our economy run. And yet, and yet, Donald Trump's Project 2025 will eliminate Head Start, close classrooms, raise the cost of care. And J.D. Vance, J.D. Vance says affordable child care is class war against normal people. You know what normal people want? a president who understands this shouldn't be so damn hard. That's Kamala Harris. Kamala and Tim know that when everyone can find and afford childcare, our kids and our communities will thrive. 
middle class will grow. So let's put childcare at the top of the agenda. Let's build a future worthy of our children. Let's elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walls.